Hey this is Class Creatives and in this video we'll discuss how Arcane's latest installment in the hit television series uses Autodesk Maya for animation as well as cutting edge production techniques mixed with highly stylized 2D animation and effects. Many of our students are curious about the software and techniques that were used to bring these award winning animated characters to life for the highly anticipated franchise, which is making a comeback in its most recent chapter. Arcane's latest trailer is looking very promising and picking up where the previous 2021 Emmy and Annie award winning show left off. In this video we'll discuss how these award winning animations are made with Autodesk Maya, integrating highly stylized 2D animation, hand drawn graphic backgrounds and textures, how live action reference footage is used to inspire original acting choices, and the keyframe animation process. We'll go in depth on how the show almost didn't become a reality and the unique production techniques that revolutionized the look of 3D animated characters. Initially when the show was pitched the idea of a highly produced TV show did not sound realistic or appealing due to video games being adopted to film and television having a history of not succeeding. The creators wanted to be sure that they created a show that had depth and told the backstories of the characters and that it would be remembered for its substance and visual appeal granting what the audience had been asking for without disappointing them. A small $2,000 budget was granted to create concept art for a pitch. The concepts were very well received and a higher budget was granted to create some 3D assets to create some acting tests to get a feel for the main character's personality. A slightly higher budget of around $65,000 was granted for a fully realized proof of concept test shot. The test shot gave them a solid foundation with concept art, designs, rigs, and 3D models to decide if they were going to move forward with the project. There was a lot of consideration about whether to do the show or not, and if they were to move forward, they would have to make sure they had solid character development and compelling storylines to do it at a high level of quality. The 2015 animation test ensured that the Arcane team could create a visually compelling style and could bring something fresh and new to the League of Legends series. For Tiche, the French studio that is responsible for bringing the Arcane animated TV show to life had a unique style of animation that combined 3D and 2D assets and would often incorporate handheld camera shots that would bring the imperfections to life as if it was shot by a person. At the time the studio was made up of 5 artists, and they would need to ramp up to 2-300 to artists to fully develop the television series. For Tiche began producing the pilot in 2016. As the project became fully realized, the team grew from 30 to over 100, attracting some of the top animators in France to join the studio. It would take the studio 10 months to create the first episode. Upon creating the second and third episodes, reaction to the writing was poor and production was threatened to be shut down. To keep animators and the team working, Fortiche created two music videos that incorporated incredibly stylized art styles and also served as visual proof of what the studio was capable of in terms of stylization which allowed them to work out any kinks in production to prepare for the show's final production. Many of the workflows using keyframe animation with video reference helped shape what was to come in the television series. Graphic 2D elements and pushed poses and timing created an extremely unique offering that made a big impact in reimagining what could be done with highly stylized 3D assets. Arcane mixes 3D and 2D elements to give it an extremely stylized look, helping distinguish it from other standard 3D rendering. Animation is done at 24 frames per second with the effects animated at 12 frames per second. The combined elements help make the show both cartoony and realistic. Everything is keyframed with no motion capture to ensure that the poses and timing stay stylized. As with many highly detailed 3D animated projects, shooting video reference for unique acting choices is critical to capturing subtle details for the final shots. Animators acted out their performances in front of the camera to choose the best acting choices to animate their shots. It's not uncommon for animators to act out their performances to try and rough in movements and get animation director approval prior to animating the characters. By shooting video reference, the animator can try out different takes and choose the best options prior to animation, to not only save time but to ensure that they have the most genuine movements to animate the shot which resonates with the audience much like an actor in a movie connects with the viewer. This helps acting be believable in not just timing but crafting solid performances that might not have been thought of by the animator if not acted out in front of the camera. Combining body movements from several takes is also a common workflow to ensure that natural body gestures and choices of acting are not generic and feel as natural as possible. Using video reference can also serve as a way to roughly block in a shot prior to animation so the animator can visually see the shot on screen before any poses are created in 3D. 
Fortiche brought their personal touches to the show with handheld camera work to give the scenes more life and to feel more cinematic, further enhancing the keyframe animation performances. Quick pause to tell you a little bit about Class Creatives. They offer a top-ranked game design curriculum online. All courses are taught by industry veterans with experience from studios such as Disney, Naughty Dog, Insomniac, Google, and more. Learn the entire process of animation and motion capture using Autodesk Maya by following the methods used to create Arcane's animation. The full AAA animation workflow is explained in detail in their masterclass courses. Learn professional workflows such as 3D character modeling, utilizing industry standard software such as ZBrush, Autodesk Maya, and Substance Painter. The entire character design workflow is covered from start to finish in their masterclass offerings. Extensive character rigging courses teach the process of how to custom rig characters for all of your project needs. Land that new job, receive higher pay, and stand out from the competition. The great thing about Class Creatives is the ability to learn at your own pace and your own schedule. Get started today for free with the link in the description. Similar to the techniques in the Spider-Verse, smear frames were used to add stylization and cartooniness to high-speed movements. Hundreds of artists and talented individuals worked together to bring the show to life out of the Fortiche production studio based in Paris, France. It is one of the highest budgeted animated series. Production workflow consists of many familiar phases. Once the script is completed, the design phase begins for the characters, props, and backgrounds. Once the designs are created, the storyboarding process begins, where the images are assembled into an animatic where the actors begin recording voiceovers and temp music and sound effects are implemented to experiment with timing of the sequences. This allows the directors to watch the entire show before any animation is created with voice acting, sound effects, and music to ensure that the story and visuals are as compelling as possible. Along with storyboard creation, background and character prop fabrication are being created. The core software used in production to bring the unique elements of 3D and 2D together are Autodesk Maya for animation, and a mix of After Effects and Nuke to give the 2D hand-drawn elements its extra stylization to bring the show some over-the-top graphic elements. As with many productions, the characters are concepted out and planned out in 2D before bringing all of the elements together in 3D. Can you spot which of these images are 3D and which is the original concept art? It's incredible to see how closely the 3D characters look compared to the 2D drawing, which is exactly what the show set out to accomplish with their unique hand-painted workflows. From the designs, the characters are built in 3D. Extreme details, like the Atlas Gauntlet, have to be engineered and tested prior to rigging, ensuring all of the intricate detail parts are functional. Artists ensure that the original designs are meticulously constructed to reflect the concepts depicted in the final 3D versions. When artists were asked how they make the characters and art look like paintings, they simply stated, we paint. Hand painting the textures gives the show a personal touch to each asset, and the graphic looks help separate it from typical 3D rendering shows and movies everyone has become accustomed to viewing. Once characters are created, the rigging process begins to add all of the controls necessary for the animators to bring the characters to life. Layout starts to set up the staging and camera movement based on the approved storyboard animatics. Trying to create life through the camera is extremely important in the layout phase, and working with the focal length settings help to give that extra touch of cinematic realism to the shots to prep the scenes for the animators. Visual effects like smoke are all hand drawn in 2D frame by frame. This gives a cartoony element to the shot and mixed with 3D assets brings modern day workflows together with traditional hand drawn animation techniques. Glitch effects were drawn completely by hand. Frame by frame, layer by layer, 2D effects are added to the 3D shots to create incredibly stylized enhancements to each shot. With the complex camera movements, the 2D elements can be extremely difficult to create, with some elements taking several weeks due to the complexity of the 2D elements timed to camera movements. For Jinx, they wanted to connect her visually to what she was as a kid. They wanted to make sure they could capture the details of her face from looking childish to an adult. Features such as a rounder face, bigger eyes, and a sadder look to tell her story. They wanted to tell her story emotionally and what her life was like as a child. They wanted to ensure that the connection of family and something personal was a top priority when designing and bringing the characters to life. An interesting detail is the attention to asymmetry in the character designs and worlds of Arcane. Everything has an organic shape that is not perfect, giving it a more natural feeling. The final stage of production is rendering and compositing. All of the 3D and 2D assets are combined together. 
Since the backgrounds are 2D painted, the characters need to be lit and adapted to the background. With Forti specializing in 2D elements with 3D assets, they have a very specialized ability to blend the elements seamlessly. After working on the show for a total of 9 years in production, the creators have stated that the story of Arcane will wrap up with Season 2, but that they are very much interested in telling stories about other characters in the universe. Well that about wraps up this video on how Arcane's Netflix television series utilizes state-of-the-art animation mixed with highly stylized 2D animation and 3D art software workflows to create the most successful video game television series of all time. All departments work together to bring something new to each installment of the seasons. We are sure that there will be tons of new techniques and workflows in the future that will assist in bringing the characters of Riot's franchises to life in innovative, stylized ways. Are you excited about what's next to come in the Arcane storyline? We will be watching on premiere day. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Perfect!